everyone so I'm really excited to be filming this because this is actually the first time that I filmed a subscription box video so we're gonna be going over ipsy and boxy charm I'm gonna link information to both of them below just a quick review ipsy is ten dollars a month and you get four to five products every month actually it's like four to six products every month some of them are trial size some of them are full size and then boxy charm is a little more expensive it's $21 a month but you get five full size products every month and they're both free shipping so if you're interested in checking them out I will link them down below please excuse my skin right now I just got back from vacation and it's like horrendous, I don't know. I have like breakouts happening on my forehead, on my nose, it's like really, really small breakouts, like bumps. Okay, TMI, but I just wanna let you know because you're gonna notice it's on my forehead. Um, let's see, any other updates? Oh, I just filmed me curling this weave here. This stuff is so long, it took me about an hour and a half. So if that video is up, uh, actually I know it won't be up because this is gonna go up on Tuesday. So that video will be up soon. Keep a lookout for it so let's go ahead and jump into it so i have to admit i have looked at these boxes and i've actually used some of the products because i wanted to be able to tell you guys about them so this month ipsy came in this cute little bag and it usually comes when they ship it to you in a bright pink envelope next month i'll save that um so i can show you it comes in like a hot pink envelope and each month you get a different makeup bag and this one is like a canvas uh, I don't really like it. I don't know. It just seems kind of like, I don't know. It reminds me of like when I used to go to summer camp, but I guess that's the point. Anyways, what it says is cute. It says contents, pretty important stuff. And it has lipstick and it says breakups to makeups. It's cute, I guess. I don't know. I just don't like that it's canvas. So let's dig in. So the first thing that came that was huge, like it didn't even fit in here. It was actually in the pink envelope. It's this Oscar Blondie Pronto Texture and Volume Spray. It says, builds long lasting body and texture, dry weightless formula for all hair types. I've never heard of Oscar Blondie. Actually I have, I think I saw it in my salon once a long time ago, but I've never used Oscar Blondie. I don't really use hairspray. Like today I did this curl wave thing. I actually filmed it. So if it's up, I'll link it down below. If not, it's coming up soon. Um, and all I really used was the Paul Mitchell uh, finishing spray, but that's like the only hairspray I own. So I'm actually excited to try this out. And if I like it, I will let you know. So that's nice. And this is big. This is a full size. So that's nice because you don't always get full size with Ipsy. And remember, Ipsy is the one that's 10 bucks a month. So next in here, it came with a little card. And you know how like every... Well, if you don't know, every month they'll put like a little card and it has a theme and this one says, Hey Jet Setter, and it has Desi, who's actually a YouTube person and I love her. If you don't know her, you should check out her channel and they do like cool photo shoots and stuff and it tells you how you can win a one year subscription. So each month it comes with like a little card like this, which is cute. So next, I have the Nux Nuix. I don't know, it's N-U-X-E, Rev de Miel. Miel? Oh my God, could it be in English? <laughs> it's a face cleansing and makeup removing gel. It says it soothes and softens. I, I know that Miel in Spanish is honey. And I've smelled this and it smells like honey. So I know that it's mostly made with honey. And it says use morning and night, work into lather, then rinse, avoid contact with eyes. So that's pretty simple. It's a cleansing and makeup removing gel and I have smelled it. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells like warm honey and like, um, I don't wanna say cinnamon, but like warm honey and like a wintry spice. I don't know, it smells so good. So I'm really excited to try this out. So it's a face cleanser and it smells really good. I've never heard of this brand. Nux, oh my God, that's so bad. N-U-X-E Paris. There you go. <laughs> All right, so next came the Urban Decay Revolution High Color Lip Gloss. So when I first saw this, I was like, oh, where's the lip gloss? I don't see it. I'm such a diss. <laughs> These are the lip glosses. They're in here, which womp womp. I mean, 
well, I don't know, it's fine, but when I get lip glosses like this that you have to like push out, I never use them. So I don't, how do you even get it out? Oh, I see. So it comes out like this. But I mean, that is not practical for me. I'm like wanting to say I don't even want to try it just because of the way it's packaged. It's cute though. And I really do like this color. This color is bittersweet. And then this one is failed bait. So I really like the color, so I'll try them. But I was kind of disappointed at the packaging. And then it also came with this Urban Decay Glide On Lip Pencil. And this is in the color Ozone. And so I opened this earlier. <coughs> Excuse me. And when I opened it, it broke. And I actually saw this on um, Jessica Murphy's channel too. And she got this. And it broke for her too. So I was like, what the heck? And then when you put it on, it kind of just goes on clear. Like you can't even see it. Just It looks white and the pencil, but it goes on clear. And I was like, how do you use this? And it says it's uh, used to fill in fine lines, prevent feathering, and correct mistakes. Our long-lasting waterproof formula stays creamy, and it has vitamin E. All right, so you put this on before you put the lip gloss on to make sure that your lips are nourished and they don't crack. It's their Thick Barrel Multi-Purpose Primer Pencil. Oh, so it's a primer pencil. So I'll give it a try. I've never seen anything like this, especially for the lips. I just thought it was kind of sucky that as soon as I took it out, it just broke. And even though I don't like the packaging, how it's like in these little weird tubes, I really am excited to try the colors. So uh, this one's kind of like so-so. Packaging kind of sucks, but the colors are good looking. And the last thing that I got was, sorry, motorcycle going by. Last thing I got was Jessie's Girl Pure Pigment Eye Dust in Brown Sugar. So when I read that, I was like, ooh, that's going to be pretty. And I'll do a close-up of this for you. But then when I put it on, when I swatched it, it's like a little lighter than my skin tone. And it just kind of looks dirty. I don't know. I don't think it works for my skin tone. Like when I put it on, it just, I feel like if I were to put this on my eye, I can't really use it as a base because it's not light enough. I can't use it in the crease because it's not dark enough. It just kind of looks like a, I don't know, you see that? It just looks like a matte, dirty brown on me. I don't really like it. So I think this will be have to be something I pass on maybe to my mom or friend who's more of a lighter skin tone than I am because if you're my skin tone, this is what it looks like. It's just like... I don't know. I don't. I hate to say dirty brown, but that's what it reminds me of. So that is what I got in my Ipsy bag. So I got the Urban Decay lip gloss, the Jessie's Girl Eye Dust. <clears throat> no, the Honey Face Cleansing and Makeup Removing Gel, which I'm really excited to try, and I'll let you know how that goes. And then the Oscar Blondie Pronto Texture and Volume Spray, and I'm really excited that it's full size. Now I want to say I got a makeup brush also, but I can't find it because I got this box before I went to Europe. I came back and I was like, I swore this came with a brush, but I can't find it. So if I do find it, I'll let you know and I'll link it in the description bar. I believe it was like a pink makeup brush, but I just can't find it right now. I'll let you know in the description bar. Moving on to BoxyCharm. I'm excited because this is my first BoxyCharm I've ever received. I heard about it from Jessica Murphy. I love her channel. I'll link her channel down below. Um, if you haven't heard of her, definitely check her out. She does makeup reviews, mostly makeup reviews and hauls. So uh, she is a member and she gets a BoxyCharm. This is my first time getting it. So I signed up. I paid with it my own money. And I was kind of disappointed because the box that she gets, it's like like a nice pink box and has like polka dots but I think it's because they send it to her for free so they probably put some effort. Mine just came in this little box Oops. and they put like little frilly pink stuff in it which is cute. Beggars can't be choosers right? All right so let's see and just like Ipsy this is the Ipsy card um Boxy Charm has a card and I like it because it it explains it has a little description of everything that came in your box and it tells you the price for the full size product in case you're interested. So the first thing I noticed was this Bodyography Pro eyebrow pencil 
and I'm really excited to have this because I need a new spoolie. So on one end, it came with a spoolie brush, and then on another end, it came with an angled brush, which you can use for liner, but I think they want, well, I think the purpose of this is to use for your eyebrows. Yep, and it's a Bodyography full-size eyebrow brush, and it says that this retails for $19. That's crazy. But that's what it says. So already this box has basically paid for itself because remember, BoxyCharm is $21 a month, where Ipsy is $10 a month. So that's nice. I need a new one of these, so that's perfect. And the next thing it came with is the Lauren B. Beauty Nail Polish, Beverly Hills. I've never heard of that brand. And what shade is this? It doesn't have a name. Well, it says it's uh, non-formaldehyde, DBP, cruelty-free, and vegan-friendly. And it's distributed from Beverly Hills. That's interesting. That's where I live. And it's made in the USA, but what's the name of it? Oh, the name of it is City of Angels. Uh, yeah, the name of it is City of Angels, and it's this really, really pretty baby pink. I'm actually wearing it on my nails today. I love it, guys. Like, I literally, you only had to put on one coat, and it went on so thick, so pigmented. It's so opaque, I love it. I was shocked, I was like, eh, I don't know if this color will really work on my skin tone, but it's really pretty. It's coming up on the camera as white, but it's a really pretty baby pink. And it says that this retails, oh my God. It says full size retails for $18. So I just realized when I was talking about this um, nail polish that my camera wasn't filming. Oh, I hate when that happens. So, I was talking about the next product that was in the BoxyCharm and it's a Model Co Bronze Shimmer and it's for the face and the body. And I was saying that when I first saw this, I was like, oh, I'm excited because I've never tried anything from Model Co and I've heard a lot of people talk about it, but it's a bronzer. But then when I read the box, it says it's a bronze shimmer and you can use a powder brush to sweep a light dusting over the face, neck, and decolletage. And I just learned that this area is the decolletage because I didn't know that myself. So I was like, ah, whatever, let's give it a try. But I was pleasantly surprised. So it comes in a package, looks like this, really cute. When you open it up, this is the color and my camera is actually picking up the true color. It's like a nice camel brown color with specks of shimmer in it. Let me swatch it for you. I don't know if you can see it on my finger because it's actually kind of like the same color as my finger. Oh, but you can see it there. Uh, I did it on the wrong hand. <laughs> Let me do it with my right hand. Let's swatch it down there. So it's pretty light. You can see it down here, but when you see, look at it close up, I'll do a close up of it. <coughs> Sorry, Ugh, I need tea. When you do a close up of it, there's little specks of shimmer in it and it's so pretty. So I'm really excited to use this. I'm actually thinking that I might use this as a highlight or like it said, just to dust it on my decolletage area to add like some shimmer that'll be really pretty or even to use it as an eyeshadow because I really love the specks of shimmer. So I think I'll be using this on my neck area and then as a highlight, probably on my cheekbones and my eyes. I love products that are multi-purpose that I can use as eyeshadows, highlight on the body, love it. So the full size of this is $22. So remember, we're already through three things. We've got the brush, the nail polish, and this bronzer. And this box was $21, and already these products total close to 60 bucks. So I'm really excited to try this out. I'll probably try it tomorrow. I'm going to a cookout and I'll probably use it as a highlight. So I'll let you know how this works out. The thing I got was the Bodyography Brow. Ooh, sorry, if you can hear my dog. He's under the desk scratching. All right, so I got the Bodyography Brow Trio and it comes in a white box like this. Okay, so it looks like this. And it doesn't have a name, but on the box it says expression. So maybe that's the name. It says, can be used as a blush, eyeshadow, eyeliner, or to fill in the brow. Uh, I don't know about using this as a blush just because they're so dark, 
but I'll definitely use the dark shade to fill in my brow and I can use the other two as eyeshadows. So let me do some swatches on the fingers. So wow, can you see that? Those are really pigmented. So I'm actually really excited if this is too light, this darkest color here, if it's too light to use to fill in my brows because my brows are jet black like black black like the Anastasia dip brow I use ebony so this might be too light but if it is I would love to use this as eyeshadow in the crease so I'm excited to try this out so I'm assuming the bodyography uh, little quad thing here probably goes well with the brush that they sent if you want to use it to fill in the brows so wow I'm really like impressed for my first boxycharm box like everything in here I really like the last thing that it came with is this, I can't really read it, it says lip bar lipstick full size is $20 and it came in this little pouch like that and it's cute and I actually peeked. The packaging of this is so adorable. I've never seen lipstick packaging like this. Look at that, it's cute. It comes in like a little cage and then you take that top off and it's like this beautiful coral orange color. Let me swatch it for you. <gasps> It just broke. WTF. Ah, oh, and I really like this color. Damn it. It's okay. It's okay. I'll fix it. I've seen videos on YouTube about how to fix your broken lipstick. Anyways, I almost had a heart attack. Let me be gentle. So it's a really pigmented coral, like light orange color, and I actually wore it yesterday. It looks really pretty. I was kind of scared because um, coral colors on deeper skin tones can kind of look cray cray, but if you use a light hand and you just blend it in, it looks really good, and it's so soft, so creamy, and so pigmented, and I'm so sad that it just broke, but I'll just, you know, only push out a little bit, use it until we get to the end. Like this is something when I was wearing it and it's long lasting, I wore it and it stayed on for a couple hours. This is something that I would pay the full $20 for. I love the packaging, it's cute. I really like the formula. I love the color payoff. So, and I've never heard of this. It's called the Lip Bar Lipstick. Give your lips a splash of color with a bold hues from the lip bar. I've never heard of lip bar, so really cute and I really really like the packaging so that's everything that I got in BoxyCharm so we got the lipstick the body face bronzer the bodyography eyebrow blush eyeshadow quad the brush and the nail polish so I am pleasantly surprised for my first BoxyCharm box. I like everything in here so far. I need to try it out, so I'll give you an update. So let me know if you like these types of videos. I think even if you don't, I'll still do it. <laughs> no, <laughs> because I actually like watching them, so you don't have to let me know if you like it. But I always like to peek and see what people get in their boxes. And if you want to try it out, they're pretty affordable. Like I said, Ipsy is $10 a month. BoxyCharm is $21 a month. I will link it down below with all the information. If you want to check it out, you're going to see these videos again. But you can let me know if you like seeing them. Or actually, let me know in the comments what you got in your boxes if you are a subscriber already. So I'm going to change my top, film a Sephora haul, and then go hang out with some friends. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.